This is the original Pilgrim Sumo front end setup with the original top arms. Small problem with these top arms is that it didn't give us enough caster angle, that is leaning back like that, to provide an adequate amount of self-centering. Uh, the simple remedy has been in the past to move the whole arm backwards by cutting some up off this post here and packing the arm further backwards. Uh, the problem I've had with that is that it brings this part of the arm a little bit close to the uh, exhaust headers, particularly on the Chevy engine. Um, in January 2009, the top arms were slightly redesigned so that this end of it was about 8mm further back. So for a standard fitment, the caster angle would be increased to about 6 degrees. To help overcome the problem with the clearance on the header, what I've done is redesign the arm. I've made it slightly more substantial. Uh, I've increased the amount that it's moved back so we can keep the front end forward. And I've got the option of an extra reinforcing plate on the top. Once I'd proved the geometry of that was okay by fitting it on the car, I then got made a set of stainless steel ones. And what I'm going to do is fit this now to the other side of the car and just show how we've checked the caster angle using a simple homemade caster gauge. One. This is the standard arm which has been packed back to give us 6 degrees caster angle and we've got about 85 mil there. This is the new arm fitted in the forward position so I've got a, a distance there of 60 mil so we've gained about 20, just over 20 mil clearance on the header. This is a caster gauge that I made up. The pointer is 350mm long, so 6mm movement on the pointer is equivalent to 1 degree movement on the scale. On the bottom end, these two points are 70mm apart, representing 35mm actual offset between the middle of the top ball joint and the middle of the bottom ball joint. So when I fit it on the car, like this, this is the caster gauge in position. Uh, as you can see, I've got 6 degrees caster angle, which is where I want it to be. Now, the caster and camber settings have got to be finalised before you do the bump steer adjustment. Then finally, the last job would be uh, the toe settings, and the toe should be set to zero. We've adjusted the camber angle on this wheel. First of all, we're setting the wheel at right height. We've adjusted the top arm joint in or out so that we've got 0.4 degree positive camber. That's the wheel in at the top by more than at the bottom. As the suspension goes into compression during cornering, this becomes more negative. In other words, the wheel will be leaning out more. When replacing the bolts for the steering rack, you can just use uh, the mallet. Just give them half a tap with a mallet, or you can give them a full tap with half a mallet, or you can use the Glaswegian mallet. 